Hey guys, it's Mike. I uh, just wanted to shoot you a quick video and show you how to set up the new One I Work availability. They recently changed um, the desktop version. I don't know if they have or not the app on the phone, but uh, I would always prefer you guys to set your availability online. Um, this way, when you log in, it actually shows me when you logged in and I can know for sure that you guys have already submitted your availability for the coming months. When you um, kind of log in with your app on your phone, it doesn't really show me. Um, so I, I would have to call you or text you and, let, and see if you have already submitted your availability so I can get to the scheduling. Um, so what we're gonna do is obviously when I work.com uh, punch in all your stuff and go ahead and log in. It's going to be just the same as normal. Um, basically, go to your name over here to the right and then click down on my availability. Right here, it's a little bit different. You're going to see um, a month's view. Um, so you would go to the next month, which would be January. Um, and you're going to set your availability for each day. All right. Um, so for example, if you wanted to take the weekend of the sixth off, go ahead and click on the sixth, hit all day and take the repeats off. You hit save. So it shows that you're unavailable all day. Um, go ahead and keep doing that for each day that you cannot work. And it's really important that you guys just really just tell me if you're unavailable. Um, Cause that way I can see, you know, it shows, it makes it a little bit easier on the scheduling part. Um, I'll go ahead and show you, click here on the schedule. This is all of my manager side. So you guys might not see this. But so I'm looking at January 1st right here, and it shows that, you know, Jake has been unavailable, and he's going to be unavailable from the 1st through the 6th, and that's perfect. Uh, that makes it real easy for me to know how who's available and who's a schedule. Um, if you do go through each day and say that you are available, um, it'll show me a little green square, which is it's nice, I guess. Um, but it doesn't really help me so much as uh, if you're completely unavailable. So make sure you guys just mark off if you're unavailable. If you do not mark that off, it'll give me an open square like these. And I'm just going to assume that you are available to work and I am a, uh, able to go ahead and schedule you for that day. Um, a lot of these will give certain times that you guys cannot work and and whatnot, um, it's just better for me to just know if you can't work that day at all. Um, right now, you guys know the shifts and what times are in and what times are out. So basically, just tell me if you're unavailable. And if you are, then I will not schedule for that day. So going back to my availability, <clears throat> say plans changed. Um, and you're not going on that trip after all, bring up that January um, and go ahead and edit that. You can go and delete. It'll show that it's deleted. Same thing with this one. Same thing with this one. What shows here that it's still there, um, which has been weird and I think that's just a bug. I've been refreshing, going back and you're back to normal. So um, even if you're gonna be away at school, please just, uh, you know, you can mark off a mass amount of dates with one click, it's pretty easy. Um, say you're not available at all for January, go ahead and hit January, that you're all day unavailable and go to day. That means it's gonna, it's gonna repeat every day and then right here, you can end on a date. So you're available on February 1st. So you want to mark off all of January. January. And then make sure it says I'm unavailable to work. Go ahead and hit save. 
and all of those will pop up and they will all say unavailable for the whole month on my end, making it very, um, very easy for me. And again, um, I don't know if this is a bug, but it says you're available right here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh and see if it fixes it. Yeah, I don't know what is happening right here, but um, I would go ahead and just, it says there's a preference. Um, if I have a question on it or if I schedule you for a day that uh, you need it off, that's fine. Just go ahead and contact me. I'm just trying to make it easier on my end so you guys can have a whole month in advance of scheduling and you can plan around that. Um, Say you got kicked out of school. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and delete all those. Refresh because my OCD kicks in. All right, and then you have the whole month available. Um, say you can't work Mondays. So you're going to do a weekly thing. Repeats on Mondays. And I hit all day. You're going to say that. You can't work Mondays for the month of January. Let's say that. So you end on the last Monday. Go ahead and hit save and it shows you're unavailable for all those Mondays. Again, this is super easy, guys. I just hope uh, you guys can work with this because it makes it a lot easier on my end. And hopefully you guys can get these in by the 20th so I don't have to pester you. Um, and that's about it. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me or Nolan. Thanks, guys.